Right now, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful tools in Photoshop that hardly anyone uses. I've got some great tips for you on using the Quick Mask. So a Quick Mask is the ability to go between a paint stroke and a selection instantly backwards and forwards as much as you want. So you could grab a brush, you could stamp, go with a brush, you could filter it, do all those kinds of things and work just like you would when you're painting, but you're painting on incredible selections. Let's look at what we can do. So the first thing we can do is clean up selections. So somewhere in this image here, we're going to grab the object and we're going to grab the select subject. Now, these selections are not quite perfect. So here's a way to fix it. Hit the Q key, takes you into Quick Mask. And then we can zoom in and we can see what's going on. Now, did you notice the Quick Mask appears in this red color? It's hard to see. First tip, let's turn that off. To change the color of Quick Mask, go to the Quick Mask tool, double click, choose the color swatch, and we can make it any color we want. Let's make it yellow. And now we can see exactly what's going on. Zoom in. And now you can grab a brush. And you can very easily paint with the mask. Notice we can see we're cleaning up these edges. We can select those areas we want to add. There's a little bit in the hair there that's getting missed. All these little areas. So instead of having to play around with all the different selection tools, you can just do it here using Quick Mask. And now if you wanted to undo this selection, just change it to white for the foreground and that will paint away the Quick Mask tool. At any time, hit the Q key, goes back to a selection and we're good to go. Okay, so the first thing we saw there is it's really good for cleaning up selections. In fact, it's incredible for those difficult selections. And by the way, if you're liking this so far, hit that like button. All right, let's proceed. Now we're gonna use it for some cool visual effects. So what if we want to do something a little bit more creative? Well, let's grab a soft edge brush. Just going to grab the soft round brush. Now hit the Q key for quick mask. Notice you can see that quick mask color appears in the layer. And now if you don't see anything, make sure you just hit the X key. So you're painting with black and now you can see, all right, we're just putting some around the edges here. So let's go around these edges, just painting them. Great. I'm going to soften the selection and I'm just going to choose filter blur and grab the Gaussian blur. Notice we've got a softer edge. Imagine trying to do this with a selection. This would be impossible to do this with a selection. Let's take it further. Let's apply a filter. So now we're going to choose filter. Let's use a pixelate filter and let's go down to color half tone and we're going to create some cool half tone dots. So we'll just take the defaults and click OK. And notice now we get these half tones like you will see in comic books. But wait, hit the Q key. Now we've got the selection. With the selection active, that means I can apply filters, I can apply adjustments, I can drop out the photos, I can cut it, I can do whatever I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the layers and we're going to use a hue saturation adjustment. Notice everything is hidden right now, but watch this. Turn the lightness all the way up and look at this. Now we're getting a comic book effect. I could colorize this and apply some color in here if I wanted. And as you can see, we can do some incredible things using the Quick Mask tool. So I really encourage you to start using it. Now I'm curious, let me know in the comments underneath, have you used the Quick Mask tool or even explored it? If you've got a favorite use for it, let us know. And then also let us know in the comments what else you'd like to learn in my next tutorial. And by the way, if you guys are new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Consider hitting the subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't miss a single one of my weekly tutorials. Anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.